Hi everybody, this is the Intuitive Healer and today I will be doing a reading for the sign of Scorpio. So first I'm going to be using the Sun and Moon Tarot and then I'm also going to be using the Divine Energy Oracle. So let's get started Scorpio. King of Pentacles, King of Cups, Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and Three of Wands. All right. So the first card that comes up, Scorpio, is King of Pentacles. This is really being done with the past and moving towards the future, wanting better for yourself. And the reason why this card becomes positive is because the King of Cups energy is right behind it. And this is a person coming in to love you, Scorpio, to honor you, to accept you. And with that being said, we have the Seven of Cups. So, you know, you see the, the couple skinny dipping in the middle of the night. And so that card really signifies connection, that there's a connection coming in. And so whatever circumstances you're in right now, well, that's about to end because you've got some change. The Two of Pentacles. So love coming right in, Scorpio. I'm thinking it's going to come in the side door because we do have the Ten of Pentacles. And, you know, that comes in swiftly with wealth. So that's abundance in love and wealth. Wow, Scorpio. And then with that being said, we got the success card. The Six of Pentacles. Wow. So that's just a carefree, fancy-free individual that knows that they're valuable and knows that they want success and balance in all areas of their life. Because they did their work on the past with the Nine of Swords. They, they cried enough, they hurt enough, and they recognized that that wasn't in alignment with themselves, Scorpio. So with that being said, there had to be some type of change to pull yourself out of that toxic, cruel, past relationship. And you did. You did, Scorpio. You did well. Because the Three of Wands comes in and you're like, yeah, I got my virtue system all in order. I got my belief system all in order. I know how I love to be loved. I know where my heart is. Right, Scorpio? So I'm going to pull two cards from the Moonology deck here. And again, pre-shuffled. So let's see what we have in store. Yeah, see, nothing is yet set in stone. But you're working up to that momentum, Scorpio. Yes, because you're trying to bring love into your situation. Oh my gosh, Scorpio, that's wonderful. And we have to adjust our lives in order for that to happen. One more card. Yes, because there's a win-win outcome in our forecast. So you see it's a full moon in Libra card, so it's balanced in love. Wow, that's amazing, Scorpio. So let's pull a couple of the Divine Energy Oracle cards and see what's in store there for you, Scorpio. And again, I pre-shuffled the deck. So yes, it says just be patient, Scorpio. Sometimes Scorpio are impatient, so it really has to put it out there for you to exercise some patience towards love and to admit your vulnerabilities, to be open because you're seeking hidden treasures. 
Yes, you are, Scorpio. So right now we need to do all things in moderation so that we don't tire ourselves out, Scorpio. So when that love does come in, we have all this vibrant, exuberating energy that that person just really attaches in and really connects with us. Because we accepted disappointments from the past gracefully. Because we really wanted love. We did. Because we decided to choose our friends wisely around our situations. Didn't have any women getting up in there and trying to take our our relationship or a man trying to get up in there and get our relationship because you need to shine your light Scorpio shine your light and strengthen your loving gifts Scorpio wow and reassess the situation Moving into a different direction towards love, Scorpio. So let go of the past and start enjoying your life. Laugh at your demons when they come up. And count your blessings, Scorpio. Wow, that's wonderful, Scorpio. Now, I'm going to pull from the Universe Has Your Back cards, and I'm also going to pull from the Super Attractor cards. So let's pull about three of each. So yes, I choose to be a Super Attractor and have unwavering faith in the Universe. When I am patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. When I live and act from a place of spiritual alignment, I can trust that everything is working out for me, even if I don't know or how it will happen. Wow, Scorpio, you got some great cards today. Woo! Amazing. All right, let's pull some Universe Has Your Back cards. Oneness is my true nature. Wow. Being in gratitude here. Thank you, Universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is the highest good. Wow, this is beautiful, Scorpio. When I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Wow, that's a great reading, Scorpio. Sounds like you've got everything together and you just need to be patient. Continue to work on yourself and know that love is on its way to you. All right. Thank you so much for letting me do your love reading today, Scorpio. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, as well as hit your notification button so that when the new videos come up, you'll be able to see them right away. And as always, I love you guys, and I hope that you're well through all of this coronavirus stuff. And take care of yourself. This is the time for us to really go within and really seek out the love in ourselves so we can match that frequency in others. Take care, Scorpio, and namaste.